and session. Everybody, please stand. Oh. Chairman Mayor Kennedy. Here. Alderman Bailey. Here. Commissioner Seligman. Here. Commissioner Nelson. Here. Commissioner Cohn. Here. Commissioner Story. Here. Commissioner Fernandez. Uh, Here. Mr. Marrier, we have a quorum. About the minutes of our December 5th meeting, I believe there was only one uh, change that was submitted, and that was the spelling of Capital Drive, Capital. I believe was listed with an A and it's supposed to be with an O. So other than that, there are any other changes to the minutes? All right, can I get a motion to adopt the minutes with that one correction? Moved. Moved by Commissioner Cohn, seconded by Commissioner Nelson. Any discussion? All in favor of approving the minutes for our last meeting, say aye. 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 Opposed? The minutes are approved. Uh, we have one old business item. This is a public hearing regarding a conditional use for wings in Wisconsin, doing business as wing zone at 138 East Capitol Drive. And um, I will turn it over to staff. Is there anything, which I don't know which one of you is handling this. Mr. Smith, city yes. planner. Yes. Um, so just to recap from the previous meeting, um, right now, the this property and this zoning district straddles both the city of Milwaukee and the city of Glendale restaurants are allowed, sit down restaurants are allowed within the city of Milwaukee, but not presently within the B1M. This would allow the B1M district, or uh, excuse me, oh, this is the conditional use. Um, uh, so for the conditional use, that's just allowing the the wings, the wing place, um, once the sit down restaurant is allowed, it would allow them to stay open uh, until midnight on Fridays and Saturdays, and then um, until 11 um, Thursday through, or uh, Sunday through Thursday. And does the, the hours of operation, do those conform with all of the restaurants that are in Milwaukee that are along through there? I believe I there's a, what, a Wendy's and McDonald's, a whole number of things right through there. I haven't done a thorough survey, but I believe so. Okay. We're not doing them a disservice by forcing them to close earlier than the competitors, are we? I believe that would be the case. Oh, we are. At, they would have to close earlier than any of the ones in Milwaukee on Capitol Drive? I, I believe so. I, I don't okay. uh, frequent Capitol Drive late at night, but... Um, yeah, I mean, but <laughs> compared to compared to other like business districts, you know, like think like I'm a South Sider, so like 76th Street or something like that. A lot of the, your uh, fast food and quick food places are open quite late for uh, at least drive through or carry out. Um, our proposal tonight is based just on the current city ordinance, so we'd be looking to change the ordinance just to allow for the restaurant. Um. Uh, which would allow us for a sit-down restaurant where they're not currently permitted, but the hours of operation, that was not something that we discussed or was a part of the hearing. Is that correct? It was, it was just calling for the, the public hearing. Okay. What I'm saying is that the request, the proposal was, that was before us when it came to the commission, when we scheduled this hearing, they would be operating under the regular hours. There was not a, a proposal to change the hours of operation within this particular zoning uh, district, correct? Correct. Okay. There's three applications. There was the business use approval, which you approved. Right. That would allow them to operate under normal hours. Um, then there's the conditional use, which is basically set up to allow them to have um, additional hours later in the evening. And then we have a text amendment that was being processed to allow the restaurant. So there's actually three things happening okay. related to this particular parcel. Okay. But tonight, the only thing that was that was noticed to the public was the public hearing on whether or not they could operate a sit down restaurant, not necessarily the hours of operation. Oh, uh, that was last month. Last month was the yeah. business use approval. Tonight is the uh, public hearing. So the business use approval did not need a hearing. The hours of operation for the conditional use do. And they, that's what was notified for tonight. Okay. And the next amendment will be before the council next week. Okay, thank you. I ask in the in the original proposal that was submitted, are these the hours that they requested, or did they actually request to be open later? Uh, these are the hours they requested. Okay, all right. Just want to make sure that we're we're trying to meet the needs of of the particular company here. So, all right. So, any questions from members of the commission before I open the public hearing? All right. The public hearing is now open. Uh, for anyone to testify regarding the um,
conditional use for wings in Wisconsin doing business as wing zone at 138 East Capitol Drive. Is there any motion to speak in the public hearing? There's nobody on the Zoom. All right, second call. Anyone wishing to speak in the public hearing? And third and final call. Anyone wishing to speak in the public hearing regarding conditional use for wing zone at 138 East Capitol Drive? All right, seeing no one wishing to be recognized, I'd entertain a motion to close the public hearing, please. Moved by Commissioner Cohn. Second. Seconded by Commissioner Story. Um, it's back now to us in the commission. Um, do we have any additional questions before I call for a motion? Mr. Mayor, we technically didn't vote to close the public hearing. Oh, sorry. All those in favor of closing the public hearing, please say aye. 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 Opposed? Public hearing is now closed. Thank you. Appreciate that. All right. So um, no questions. So we have before us now a conditional use for wings in Wisconsin doing business as wing zone. Um, and can I get a motion then to approve the conditional use? So moved. Been moved by Alderman Bailey. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Cohn. Any further discussion? All those in favor of approving say aye. 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 Close now. Carries the conditional use is approved. We now move on to our new business. We have uh, discussion and consideration of a business use for Cardo Group doing business as Buffalo Wild Wings at 6969 North Port Washington Road. So I guess a wing place in the southern part of the city and a wing place in the northern part of the city. So, all right, I'll turn it over to staff for your recommendation. Yeah, uh, wings is the theme of this evening's meeting. And so um, the Cardo Group would like to open a Buffalo Wild Wings um, takeout uh, restaurant at 6969 North Port Washington Road um yeah in, in the same complex as uh, where the pick and save is uh it would be takeout and it's moving into the former i believe it's the deliers construction contracting firm and um they're in the process of going through the necessary approvals and permitting and uh, are eager to get uh moving as, as quickly as possible um and so uh, staff does recommend approval uh, for this business all right thank you and so the first, we have two items here. The first is just the business use to approving the business. And then the second one would be to um, direct staff to schedule a public hearing uh, because of the extended hours of operation. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Um, so we'll open up now to comments or questions from any members of the commission. All right. Is there a representative from the business here? All right. Seeing none. Um, I guess if there's no questions or comments, can I get a motion then the staff does recommend that uh, we grant the business use approval for Cardo Group to do business as Buffalo Wild Wings at 6969 North Port Washington Road, Suite B115. Can I get a motion to approve, please? A move. Moved by Commissioner Story. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Fernandez. Any discussion? All those in favor of approving say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion. We're still working. Oh no, it's back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There we go. It's back. All right. Uh, then the uh, the second item then would be for us to direct staff to schedule a public hearing uh, because of the extended hours of operation. Can I get a motion to uh, direct staff to schedule that hearing, please? So moved. moved. Moved by Commissioner Cohn. Is there a second? Second. Seconded by Commissioner Nelson. Any discussion? All those in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, no. Motion carries. Staff have been directed to schedule a public hearing. All right. And our final item for consideration tonight is a site plan and architecture review for the Johnson Controls Engineering Center. This is being presented by Wees Development. This is for the solar panel and HVAC system modifications. And I will turn it back over to staff. Great. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, as the report indicates, um, as they were going through the process of um, through construction for this uh, engineering building over at Baker Road for JCI, um, they decided that they wanted to add solar panels as well as they wanted to remove the previously approved um, uh, HVAC screening um, that was part of the original package. The reasoning for that is actually uh, they want to be able to see the Johnson Controls equipment on top of the roof 
from their taller building across the street so they can actually look down at it and see all of their equipment doing all the things that it does. So um, there are images in the drawing in the packet and I'm trying to get this to, to minimize. I need to get, you can't see it on my end, but. iPads can see. All right, so if you have, we all have them up over here, so. Uh, I was just trying to, yeah, I found the button. Oh, there you so, go. Okay. Um, now I got to zoom out again. So you can see on these drawings that they provided uh, to us, uh, you can see where the solar panels are, you can see the equipment, um, and uh, they did provide a, a, like a before and after, um, as well as some other site plans to show. So this was originally what the roof would have looked like. You can see there's some screening around this equipment on top of the um, office component of the building. And then you can see the uh, after uh, with the solar panels and the, um, the HVAC units. And then there's a series of drawings that they provided to us that kind of show some perspectives from different parts. You can just barely see the um, the arrays from the public right away. Um, I think you're gonna just get a few little glances of it um, from different perspectives. This is um, on Floris looking towards the building. Uh, this is another one, this is from Baker. You can see just, you know, you're gonna just maybe be able to peek over some trees and see them. Um, so it's essentially, I think they're staff supportive of the um, the application. I think it's gonna be a minimal change from the general uh, perception of the building. So, and the applicants here, if you have any questions. Yeah, the only the only question I have, um, and this has to do just with um, with removing the screening, how does that impact any sound levels um, of the mechanical equipment on the roof? Because there is an apartment complex due east, directly east of this property. And there are no other residential properties anywhere else around it, but there are, does happen to be an apartment complex right behind it. Press the button that has the little face that looks. There you go. There You're on now. Thank you. Yep. Uh, and good evening, Tom Stacy, senior PM with Epstein UN Architects or EUA. Mm -hmm. um, uh, it doesn't affect the the emitting noise from the units at all, because the, this particular roof screen system is attached directly to the unit. Some are freestanding. This particular uh, spec that we offered. And by the way, just a little backstory. We always thought it was the intention of JCI to not see the units from from their campus. Um, they were somewhat surprised that we had that opinion. They want to see their equipment on the roof, and they also want to access it. With well, on parts. the other part of the campus, they did put all of the solar panels right out there for everybody to see. You bet. So, you bet. Yeah, part of and, their and, part of their marketing. Right. Mm. And and what the studies do indicate is that you'll actually pick up the the upper edge of the solar panels before you see the unit. Okay. So primarily it was, well, it, as, as John pointed out, it's two items, the screening of the units themselves, but also acceptance of the, of the PV arrays that are on the roof. But long, long answer, sorry about that, but it, it has no impact on the, the audible output of the unit. That the sounds really going up. The screening was merely cosmetic. It wasn't in any way to sort of damper any sound. Right. Okay. That's that's um because one of the I guess we do have a number of properties to the west of there that in the Crestwood neighborhood, particularly in the winter when there aren't any trees or leaves on the trees, where we get complaints of noise from other businesses just west of there, and even some that are actually on Teutonia and Milwaukee, uh, where you can hear refrigeration units and other things that kick on and off and they're quite loud. So just want to make sure we don't find ourselves in a year once they've moved in, having the neighbors in the apartment complex complaining about the sound of the HVAC system on the roof. So, okay. And you do understand that there, there are sound compliance levels that essentially by the edge of the property, you can't exceed a certain decibel level of any of the sound emitting from the, from the equipment. Okay. And it's the only questions or concerns that I had. So I'll open up now to members of the commission. Commissioner Cohn. I only have one question. Do the panels on Green Bay and the panels on this roof give you all the electrical needs for their whole campus, or do you buy more? No, but it it, it certainly sends a message, and it does have a, a a a contributing factor, but it doesn't doesn't make it neutral as far as electrical demand goes. 
Any other questions? So we do have then a recommendation uh, from staff that we approve um, that we approve the site plan and architecture review with these these modifications that have been presented this evening. Can I get a motion to approve, please? Mm -hmm. Moved by Commissioner Cohn, seconded by Commissioner Nelson. <laughs> all right. Any discussion? Okay. All those in favor, please say aye. 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 Opposed? No. Motion carried. Thank you very much. That does conclude our business for this evening. Our next meeting is scheduled for Tuesday, February 6th at 6 p.m. Can I get a motion to adjourn, please? A moved. Moved by Commissioner Story. Is there a second? Second. Second by Alderman Bailey. All those in favor of adjourning, aye. 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 Those no. We'll stand adjourned. I could have done that.